In this Flutter web app, when I click on this text, it opens a new tab and loads my website. When I click on this icon button, the same thing happens. Let me show you how to set up hyperlinks like these in Flutter. We start off with a blank VS Code window. I'll go ahead and open the empty folder that I have created for this project. Next, I'll open the terminal and use the command flutter create demo underscore app to create a new project inside a folder called demo underscore app. As you can see, our project has been created. I have also added this .vs code folder with this settings.json file mostly to keep the IntelliSense pop-ups from showing up as I write the code. Let's now go to our main that file to start writing our code. First of all, I'll set the device as Chrome so that we are later able to run this app on the browser. Next, I'll change the title of this app, remove the comments in this code, and remove some of this code so that we remain with only a blank scaffold. I will set the background color of the scaffold to red, and inside the body of the scaffold, I will have a card with an all-round margin of 15 pixels and the child of this card will be a column whose main axis alignment will be set to center. At the top of this column we will have the title section. For this we will have a text widget that says links to visit my website with the text align property set to center and a style property where the font size will be set to 20 and the font weight will be set as bold. After this text widget we will have a size box for spacing then a divider. Let's now move on to the text link section where we start with a size box with a height of 20 pixels for spacing followed by a row whose main axis alignment property will be set to center and the first child of this row will be a text widget that says click on. The second child of this row will be an inkwell whose child will be a text widget that says the flattercoach.com link and the style of this text widget will be a text style that gives it the color blue and an underline for its decoration. The on top property will be a blank function for now but we will return to it to implement the hyperlink functionality. After this row we will have a size box for spacing for by a divider with a thickness of 2. The last part of this layout will be the icon link section. We will start with a sized box with a height of 10 pixels for spacing followed by a row whose main axis alignment will be set to center. The children of this row will be first a text widget that says click on this website icon and then an icon button whose icon is the link icon and for now the on press property will be a blank function. At the top of the my homepage state class we will define the website URL. We will call it my website URL and it will point to head https colon double forward slash the flutter coach dot com. Next we will define the website URL launch function and for this we will need the URL launcher package so let's head over to pub.dev to check it out. In this search bar I will type URL launcher and hit enter. This first result is what I'm looking for so I will click on it and head over to the installing tab. We can see that we can use the command flutter pub add URL underscore launcher to install this package in our project. I'll open up the terminal use the cd command to change the active folder to the demo underscore app folder and then type flutter pub add url underscore launcher and hit enter to get this package into our project. When we go to the pubspec.yaml file and scroll to the dependencies section we can see that the url launcher package has been added as one of the dependencies in this project. I'll go ahead and import this package at the top of the file. With the package imported I can go ahead and write the function for launching the url. It will return a void future. I will call it launch website url it will be asynchronous in nature and in it i will use the try catch block inside the try block we will await the launch url method of the url launcher package to launch my website url and inside the catch block is where you would implement whatever error handling method is relevant to you for example you could use a pop-up dialog to show the error to the user check out my video on pop-up dialogs to see how to implement them in flutter finally we will call this launch website url method inside the on tap property of the text hyperlink as well as inside the on pressed property of the icon button hyperlink. We are done writing our code. Let's build this up to see what it looks like and also to see how these hyperlinks respond when we click on them. Our app has now been built. I will close this inspector tab and this debug console and zoom in on our app window. When I click on this text hyperlink, we see that a new tab is opened and our website is loaded. When we click on this icon hyperlink, we can see that a new tab is opened and again our website is loaded. And that's how you set up hyperlinks in Flutter. If you have enjoyed this video and found value in it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might find it useful as well. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this channel with the notifications turned on so that you get notified every time I upload a new video.